Hello, I am Nayanika. Today, I am going to talk on Paleolithic art. The Paleolithic artwork of prehistoric people is an important area of study of prehistoric archaeology which signifies different aspects of prehistoric period. The existing literature evident that the art of Upper Paleolithic period represents the earliest form of Paleolithic art. Artistic work blossomed with cave painting, petroglyphs, carvings, and engravings on bone or ivory. Paleolithic art starts its journey and reached to the highest order of proficiency during the late Pleistocene epoch that is Magdalenian culture. The usual matter of Paleolithic art is the animals of that period. The figures of those animals have been portrayed in the paintings, engravings and sculptures. The most striking feature of this Paleolithic art is the absence of complete scene. The art tradition of Upper Paleolithic period can be divided into two categories, the home art and cave art. Home art is also known as art mobilier and cave art is also known as mural art. The first one is home art. Home art includes all types of objects that have been projected in delicate engraving and carvings on stone, bone, antler and ivory as well as in the round shaped sculptures of that time. Many of bone antler tools like button the commandment, spear thrower are found either engraved or carved with animal forms both in realistic and conventionalized pattern. Not only the tools but some flat stones or bones are found decorated and all these included in home art. All these objects are movable that means they can be removed from one place to another. The French prehistorians called these mobile art objects as art mobilier. Generally, this home art is divided into three divisions. First one is sculpture, second one is engravings, and the third one is paintings. The Venus of William Roff is the best example of home art under sculpture division. Found in 1908 at Willendorf in Austria. It is a female nude figure. Some archaeologists also believed that them as fertility cult. Then the next Paleolithic art type is cave art or mural art. Generally, cave art is found at the places where there were cave and rock shelters of limestone. The Paleolithic artist generally selected narrow caves and rock shelters as a place of their activity which was not suitable for habitation. A huge number of Magdalenian paintings and engravings have been found to decorate the walls and ceilings of the caves in central and southern France and also in northern France. These artistic productions are immobile in nature. The first cave art was discovered by 
Marcos de Sotala at Altamira in Spain in 1879. It is renowned for prehistoric parietal cave art featuring charcoal drawing and polychrome painting of contemporary local fauna and human hands. The cave art generally depicts animals like bison, wild horses, deers, and these commonly large fishes, seals, and penguins together with human figures compose particularly vivid hunting scenes. Most of the cave art consists of paintings made with either red or black pigment. The prehistoric artist used the art pigments available in the vicinity like red orc, manganese oxide and circle etc. The Paleolithic artist generally used burins for engraving purposes as a evidence of which a burin was found near an engraving of lion at the Troyes Ferris cave in France and as they carried out their activities at the dark chambers of the caves or rock centers so they used to burn animal fat in stone pot for light and such kind of lamp has been discovered from La Mouth Cave in France. Thank you.